Hey gang, happy Wednesday morning. I'm here with my buddy, Off Grid Kid, and we are going down to Harbor Freight. Now, when I did a brake job on this Toyota Sequoia, I used my socket set ratchets, and that's not the right tool for the job, but you know, I'm packed up here. I don't know where the other stuff is, so I used what I had, and I broke both ratchets. Now, that could be partially because Harbor Freight has some inferior uh, products, inferior tools. Junk tools junk tools China made but it could also be that you know I could have taken most ratchets and broke them by putting that much force on them I don't know you guys are gonna tell me in the comments because you're gonna tell me what brand is the best and you've used them for years but the good news is about these junk tools is they carry a lifetime warranty so we're gonna drive down swap them out get two new socket sets and today we're going to sharpen the lawnmower blades yeah we're gonna do some lawnmower maintenance we got a John Deere D 105 it's got about 35 hours on it and I haven't dropped the blade yet and sharpened them, so we're gonna do that today. We're gonna grease the deck, and I've already changed the oil uh, before I put it up for the winter, but we're gonna just do some general maintenance, check the oil, um, check the oil. We're gonna check the air filter, make sure that's clean, and we'll take you along. Look at that, we just pulled in, and there's a box waiting for me. I bet it's the GoPro. Thank you, GoPro. I'm so excited to get this back. Now we can do some real video. I'm just doing this for my Canadian friends and those of you up in the northern continental United States. Dogwoods are in full bloom here. The flowers are out and we're even getting leaves coming out. How awesome is that? So I'm watching Kirk up there, 46 degrees north, way up yonder in Canada. And I'm thinking, man, looks like winter's in full force up there still. Even though he said spring is in the air. <laughs> it's been absolutely gorgeous here. The weather's been crazy, warm, the robins are out. Hey, Robins. Of course, our chickens are out. Hey, chickens. And we're about to get ready on doing our lawnmower maintenance. So now that I have the GoPro back, I'll be able to show you what we have going on. And I won't have to mess around with trying to set up my phone on a tripod. First thing we got to do is get everything out of the way so we can get the lawnmower out. Lied. This has over 42 hours on it, so it's more than I thought. Alright, we're gonna go back over this. I know we talked about this before, but see, remember what this is called? Zerk fitting. fitting. Good job. Now put that put that puppy right on there. It's clean already. Put it on there nice and straight. Good. And now give it a nice squeeze. Another one? Now here's a close-up of the Zerk fitting. So we got one there and one there. And then of course on the other side. So I got my boy doing some Zerk fitting. Some greasing, okay. All right. Let's go ahead and put it up on there. Go ahead. It's important to keep all these points lubricated and greased. Okay, good. And I see some grease coming out. See it coming out right there, so that means it's time to stop. Okay. Come on, tough guy. I'm going. I needed quite a bit. I guess it's like 20 pumps. Okay, good. Okay. All right. I'm sure there's more. I think there might be more in the deck, so we're going to look for that in a second. Now, there's a 24 millimeter screw or 24 millimeter socket. I got it. You get under here and see what we're doing. All right, see, I'm using this block of wood to stop the blade from spinning while I'm doing this. See that? Yep. 
Ta -da. Let's put that back on there for the time being so I don't lose it. Well, these blades don't look too bad, but there are some pits on there that I gotta take care of. Yeah, definitely time to get this thing done right. I don't think I'll need to replace them. I think I can just put a little bit of an edge on there. We should be okay. So now I'll do the other one. And done. That's really the hardest part of this job is just getting the blades off and then back on again. Now I'm going to go. Now I don't have a vise set up, unfortunately. Again, because I'm in a rental and I just haven't set anything up. Everything's still packed away. So I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do this. And I know that there's better tools. You can use a hand file. You can use uh, air tools with a... Yeah, I might even use a Dremel on this. We'll see. I don't, I don't know that I have the stone to do it, though. So unfortunately, I may have to use a grinder. I'm going to use what I have available to me at the time. But, you know, I have the tools. I just don't know where they are. Eh. I have a little Dremel here that I'm going to use. I don't have the good bits. It is what it is. I don't have a vise, so I just use the bar clamp, put it up against the fence here. I'm going to just try to put a little bit of an edge on it. take the pits out of it best I can. So that's what I got. I know I'm not doing it all right. You guys are going to tell me everything I'm doing wrong, I'm sure. But uh, I, I do accept constructive criticism. So feel free to tell me what I need to do to do this job better. Uh, that feels good. It's got an edge on it. I don't know how much of an edge it's supposed to have. Maybe, it, from what I understand, you just got to try to take out as many of those pits as you can. Uh, but you guys are going to tell me the best way to do this and how to get it right. The reason why you want to do this obviously is a dull blade is going to chop the grass and it's going to allow disease and that sort of thing to come in. It's going to be less efficient and uh, obviously a sharp blade is going to take care of that. All right, so we flip this around now and you can see it's, it's really eating up my bit. both sides sharpened we're going to do a little secret here use a nail you want to check and see if it's balanced and you just want to hold this up and see if it stays balanced and this does stay balanced show you again now if one side was heavier than the other and went down that means you got to take more material off of the side that's heavier you want it to stay balanced it'll save the bearings and save you from a bunch of vibration so this looks oh hold on a second It looks pretty balanced actually, but I'm going to take a little bit more off of this side. Balanced. Looks good. Now we'll reinstall this one. Again guys, make sure that you got it going the right way. Alright guys, so we got the blades off, sharpened, back on. We got the Zerk fittings here in the front ball joints. We got those greased and ready to go. Now we're going to attach a hose to this spot over here. We're going to just use it to clean out the deck, then we're going to clean off the top and wash everything and put her back in. We should be good to go.